its share of drama from a woman who ran towards the podium as Deputy President William Ruto was addressing mourners to the officers who fell by the graveside. Our reporter Paul Kirobi with the story. Kibaki's final journey witnessed some mishaps and a little bit of drama from some quarters. For example, this woman here did the unthinkable when she ran from the far end of the tent to the podium where the second in command was addressing the mourners. In our midst, we have many leaders. Let me ask all the MCAs to stand up. Asante Sana. Thank you very much. A clap for the MCAs. Let me ask, let me request all members of parliament to stand up. Wale wote walio kuja. Asante sana waishimiwa kwa kuja ili tuweze kusindikiza mzee wetu. Nyeri Catholic Archbishop Anthony Muheria was in charge of the mass. Had earlier warned the mourners against politicking during the event. Allow me to express once more, the desire of the family of our President Mwai Kibaki that he be sent off in the same way he lived, with the simplicity and at the same time without any political spirit that we will not have kindly the speeches, but rather we will make our tributes as a nation and a people of God. However, some leaders did not take Muheria's words seriously and the former head of public service Francis Muthaura landed in trouble for defying Muheria's advisory. Before, there used to be 40,000 connections a year. By the time we left, we are doing more than 200,000 connections a year. That's the power. And then, of course, in generation, where we get power, vested a lot. The other point, which was really a game kind, changer. Kindly. Uh, let's, let's, kindly. Sorry, sorry kindly. sir. Kindly. Sorry, kindly, Bishop. Kindly, Ambassador. Your ownership, I'm concluding. Let me finish just this. Kindly. I'm become a bit political. I'm not a politician. When the funeral procession made its way to the graveside, a soldier from the Kenyan Navy almost fell at the graveside. <laughs> Earlier on, there was a video doing rounds on social media claiming that Kibaki's grandson had refused to shake ODM leader Raila Odinga's hand. But we've since established that the video is fake and indeed they let Kibaki's grandson shook Raila Odinga's hand. Asante sana, state of Squire, nitaomba sote tusimame tafadhali ili kuweza. During today's state funeral, members of parliament, ministers, cabinet secretaries, senators and county governors were not given the opportunity to address the mourners. President. Yesterday, during the state funeral at Nyayo Stadium, a man by the name Alan Makana breached security protocols and accessed the podium as Archbishop Anthony Muheria was addressing the mourners. Paul Kirobi, TV 47.